Go. Go check out IGSky.com if you're looking for some cheap FIFA 16 coins. Use Rossi for an 8% discount. Enjoy the video. Hello guys, Mr. Ross1990 here. It's going to be another one of my transfer videos for you guys today. It's going to be rumours, done deals, haven't done one in a few days. So some of the transfers you may already know about, some of them you probably don't give a shit about, and others are just there for being there. There's a mixture. I like to do a mixture of leagues in here. Premier League, Championship, League 1, League 2. I cover quite a bit because I know a lot of my fans are obviously English, me being English myself. Um, there's a couple of other leagues in there, obviously, but there's a few crazy ones as, as usual. Then we get down into the more, you know, later on in the video, as the time goes on, you see the transfers kind of go down the leagues a little bit. So if you don't want to see them, fully understand, just skip to the part you want to see is best for both worlds. And because people do like to see the, the lesser clubs, I get a lot of requests saying, why do you do all the, like, League 2, League 1 clubs. Like, because some people support them. You've got to understand, they want to see that shit. But anyway, we're going to go over to the first player now, which is going to be the big one of the episode. There's a couple of big, big ones. But Paul Pogba to Man United keeps getting stronger. I'm seeing so much rumours. I think Jose Mourinho came out and said something, and then it all sparked just, just craziness. All my people at work are telling me that they're definitely going to sign for Man United. I don't want him to sign for Man United, really, personally. Um, just for the fact I'm a Leeds fan, and that's it. I think Man U are buying way too many good players for my liking. But it is what it is. But is Pogba going to go to Man U? Watch this space. It is looking more likely than ever, in all honesty. I honestly thought when it was first suggested that there's no hope in hell. But apparently Man United are willing to pay the money for Pogba. Holy shit, it's like 100 million apparently being rumoured. Ridiculous money, but... If you've got the money, why not spend it? The next player is going to be Lacassette, and today he is linked with Arsenal yet again. He, he, he was linked with West Ham, obviously. West Ham made multiple bids, but apparently Arsenal are going to activate his release clause. I didn't even know he had a release clause. I don't know what it is, how much it is, but apparently according to a paper, okay, so that's how reliable this source is. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. A lot of the time they, they get stuff wrong, but apparently according to that, I think it's a mirror, might be wrong, but... Um, or might even be. It was on Twitter somewhere I saw it. It's activating their release fee for Lacassette. So I honestly don't know how much it is. It must be quite a lot because I think West Ham were bidding 40 million at some stage. Unless it's to a team in the Champions League who's got a release clause team or something along those lines because that's sometimes a thing. Um, but it is what it is. I'd like them to move to Arsenal. Personally, I think it's, it's a type of striker they've, they haven't got, possibly. Walcott's kind of... I still see Walcott as a winger. I don't see Walcott as a striker at all, even though I think he sees himself as a striker. But Giroud is obviously a, a good at what he does, but he's not a pacey striker, really. And like I said, scores goals, has got pace. I think he'll link up quite well, obviously, in French as well. A lot of French players in the Arsenal team. Uh, moving to the next one now, which is going to be Ben Teke. Now, this one's been covered a while back, but I find it really strange, personally. A lot of people are giving a lot of hate to Ben Teke. I think it's a little bit harsh. In his Aston Villa days, he looked really, really decent. He's still not that old. He's still got a lot of years ahead of him, and he is linked with Crystal Palace, and apparently they're willing to pay pretty much what Liverpool paid for him. Now, considering he didn't have a great season, I don't think anybody can say he did, or a couple of... Se Has he been at Liverpool for a season or two? I can't even remember. I think it's been a season. Um, but it is what it is. I think a, a team like Crystal Palace may be best for both situations like Liverpool get their money back they're not too bothered they can go off and spend it elsewhere give another striker a try or something or whatever but Crystal Palace with the wingers they've got and the types of wingers they've got the Andros Townsend the Balassi the Zaha they've even got that Sacco guy as well I think he'll suit that style of play if they're willing to spend the cash it's apparently over 30 million which is just crazy money it really is they've flopped around at the moment but hopefully Benteke settles down he deserves a nice club I think Liverpool um, deserve better. I think Liverpool will get a better striker than Benteke, but it is what it is. And moving to the next one now, which is Juan Mata, and he's linked with Everton. I think it was inevitable that Juan Mata is going to leave. I don't think he sees eye to eye with Mourinho. I think Mourinho was the one who sold him at Chelsea. I just don't think he suits his style of play. Mata's a, a type of player who obviously he's labelled as a winger on, on FIFA, but he can definitely play that calm role, that's for sure. He's not got pace. He's got unbelievable skill, though. He's got great dribbling, great passing. His FIFA card pretty much suggests exactly how he plays in real life. I think they've got him down to a T. He isn't pacey. He never will be pacey. He's never what he has been or what he will be. But to a team like Everton, I think it'll be an unbelievable signing. I think he'll be a top, top signing. I, I rate Matter quite highly. Um, obviously, Man United by Mikaitarian and... Um, well, just everybody pretty much might not link with. I think somebody obviously has to make way, and Juan Mata might be that guy. So we'll see how that one develops in the coming days. The next one is Blaise Matuidi, and this is another one linked to Manchester United, but this is probably, or obviously, if they don't get Pogba. I think this is kind of like their secondary option, and Blaise Matuidi definitely fits the bill. Very similar player to Pogba in, in a sense. 
They're both very, very good centre midfield players, that is for sure. They both got extremely good rated FIFA cards as well. And um, yeah, Blazeman Tweedy, I don't know, I haven't seen a lot of him in real life, so I'm not going to really go out and say that he's a phenomenal player, but you can just tell he's a phenomenal player by the amount of informs, team of seasons, and just good cards he gets each FIFA. You can pretty much tell from that. Um, but will he go to Manchester United? I honestly haven't got a clue. That's what these rumours are all about. The next player is James Tompkins. This one's a done deal. Pretty crazy one again. Crystal Palace flopping out the cash. I think this is this is over 10 million, I, I feel. I think it was like 13. I might be wrong. But again, Crystal Palace. Uh, you must be, if you're a Crystal Palace fan, you must be buzzing right now. You're linked with a lot of good players. I mean, you, like I said, Townsend you paid, I think it was 13 million for. Tompkins is over 10 million. Benteke possibly hitting the 30 million mark. Holy crap. You are spending some cash monies. Hopefully it doesn't mean you're going to sell a few players. Uh, I'm not really too sure exactly how well your budget's doing. But obviously Premier League clubs just spend crazy money. It's fair enough. James Tompkins, though, I think it's a good signing personally. I don't think he's an outstanding centre-back in any way, shape or form. Um, he's a good centre-back. He's only got a silver rare card on FIFA. I think he deserves a gold, personally. But I think it's a good move for both teams. I think West Ham... Um, I think West Ham are just going for that step higher. I know that, sound, that might sound bad to Crystal Palace, but I feel as if they're like a mid-table team and they're happy with that. Or maybe a little bit higher. But West Ham, I think they're going for it. I think they're going huge. I think they want to be one of the top four, top five teams for sure every season and uh, maybe Tompkins wasn't good enough and they were looking to replace him it is what it is either way it's a done deal he is signed for them the next player is Nani now this one took a while to kind of um you know happen basically he was linked with a lot of teams and at one point it looked like Everton were going to get him and Stoke were apparently interested in getting him but he has signed today for Valencia so he has joined the same league as Ronaldo and so he's definitely the cheap Ronaldo now in the same league which is crazy. I think he's a good player, Nani's proven that at the uh, at the Euros. He had a couple of cameos where he looked quite good. And uh, a team like Fernabachi, uh, I don't think we're ever going to be able to keep hold of him. I know that Fernabachi are quite a good team, possibly, but I think Valencia, even saying that, Valencia had a pretty bad season, didn't they? So they're obviously looking to to um, improve their selves. Not too sure exactly on the transfer fee, but that again is a done deal. So looking forward to seeing how he develops in that league. The next player is Leroy Fur. He doesn't need a new card. He's a done deal to Swansea. He was on loan there last season, I think at the end of last season, or from January, something like that. Obviously impressed because he's got a done deal and uh, moves up a division from QPR, of course. So Leroy Fur, for me, very hit and miss. He has one good game, one bad game kind of situation. But you can never doubt his ability. He's definitely got potential. He's still not that old, really. He's still got a lot of years ahead of him. So hopefully he settles down to Swansea and has a good time. Because when he was at, was it, was it Norwich he was at? He was doing quite well. Obviously QPR signed him. Did all right. Went into championship. Didn't sue him. And he's off into the Premier League. So fair play to him. The next player is Musa. Now this one's a cool one. Obviously you probably are fully aware that he is close to signing for Leicester. I think it'll be a fun one. Purely because of my team reasons, he's got a lot of pace. He's got unbelievable pace. The Leicester front three, potentially, you could have Musa Vardy Mares. Holy shit. Ultimate team wise, that's as good as it gets, pretty much. Holy crap. That would be awesome. If he had this card, I think his default might be a striker, but this is an inform card, which is a left winger. One of the early informers. So it's like the first week he got that inform, I think. It's a good card, and uh, hopefully he'll do quite well if he does join Leicester. I don't think it's I don't think it's official yet, but I think it's close that one. Moving on to the next one now, which is a, this is getting into the, the crazy kind of scenes. This is John Bostock. Who remembers John Bostock? Holy shit! He is uh, currently or there. He's in the Pro League for a team called OH Eleven or something like that. He's moved to RC Lens Lunds in the French league, and. Um, I don't know what happened to him. He was labelled like the next best thing when he was at Spurs. Obviously, it didn't work out for him. He's got himself a 66 rated card. I didn't even know he was on FIFA. I'm not going to lie to you. But he signed for a team today. And hopefully, he can rekindle that kind of wonder kid status. Because it never really happened. He's still not old again. He's got a chance to redeem himself. And hopefully, he does quite good at his new club. Respect. Now, the next player is Axel Witzel. And there's a lot of rumours going around again that he is going to Everton. But there was another rumour saying how much he was going to get. And I think it's an unbelievable amount of money. I think Everton, are, um, I think the transfer fee is big enough. But the, the wage they were going to give him was pretty freaking cool. Or pretty freaking, you know, just sick. Just just, just freaking amazing kinds of money. So I think Witzel will be going to Everton. I'm not saying he's a money whore or nothing, but it was nice. It was a very nice amount of money for a guy like him. He's from Zenit St. Petersburg. So a little bit of a hit hard, basically. They've lost Hulk. And they're going to lose Axel Witzel as well. So hopefully they can get some replacements in. I'm not too sure if they've done any business yet. I haven't really been tracking their team 
personally. But Everton look like they're going to get their man, and I think it'll be a good signing under the new management. I think he'll do quite well. The next player, this is a weird one, weird one for me personally. Aaron Moy. Or Mui? Not exactly, not exactly too sure how to pronounce that. Signed for Manchester City, but I don't think it was ever confirmed by their Twitter. I couldn't find it anywhere. I don't know about you guys. Maybe it was. Um, but it was from like, I think it's like they call it their sister club. It's sort of like a feeder club kind of thing. I think it was Melbourne. Uh, is it Melbourne? Yeah, Melbourne City. And crazy scenes. He's got an 84 rated team of the season card in here, which looks unbelievable, by the way. He's gone alone to Huddersfield. And being a Leeds fan, that sucks. I think he's absolutely class. I've, I've never seen him in raw life, so again, I can't judge him. But he's got a lot of informed cards. A team of the season card. I think it's a good signing. It can't be a bad signing, can it? It's got to be something right about that. So looking forward to seeing him in the championship. Holy shit. Looking forward to it. Um, I wish he went to Leeds, to be honest, but that is what it is. The next player is Jordan Mahee. McKee, McGee, possibly. He has moved to Middlesbrough of the Premier League, obviously. He's a bronze card on FIFA, a lot of potential, 1996, so he isn't exactly that old. He's about 20. I think he's literally coming up to 20 in a couple of days, or about 20 days, 19 days by the looks of his date of birth there. So he's 19 at this moment in time. Has a lot of potential, apparently, this guy. He's moved from Hearts to Middlesbrough. Like I said, new Premier League team, so looking forward to seeing how he develops in the Premier League. The next player is Hal robson Carno, linked with absolutely every single player in the league team in the world. Literally. He could be going to Leicester, according to recent poll or something or other. It's basically over on the Sky Sports kind of thing they were saying, um, and betting, obviously. I think Leicester are favourites, but I don't know if it's as such a Leicester are favourites, more of the fact that robson Carno would probably want to go to a team like Leicester because, obviously, of the potential. But will he get in their team? He's had an unbelievable, like, unbelievable Euro. Scored that class goal against Belgium. Completely solid, like, three defenders. But would he get into Leicester's team? Let me know in the comment section below what you make of that one. The next player is Karl McHugh from Plymouth Argyle has moved to Motherwell. Now this is salty as hell. You guys know that I'm I'm not a li I'm not a, sorry not a Liverpool. I'm not a Plymouth fan, but I'm a follower. I follow them on Twitter. I've got these little like things on Twitter where I follow the Leeds. Everything f said about Leeds. I'm a favourite team. And Newcastle, my best friend's favourite team, and then Plymouth, where I'm from, and my brother's favourite team is the third tab. So I always see exactly what's going on on their Twitter side of things. And this one, I thought he signed a new deal at Argyle. That was what I was led to believe. I saw that on Twitter. Everyone was ranting and raving as a good deal for them because he's a good player. I think he plays more central midfielder CDM in real life and centre back. But today he signed for Motherwell and everyone was a little bit like, what the hell's just happened? Because you see a guy sign a new deal, you don't expect him to go on a free to another club. It's like, what the hell has just happened there? I'm not too sure exactly what's happened. So somebody, if you do know, if you are an Argyle fan or even a Mudwell fan, let me know what you make of that one in the comment section below. I don't want to bitch about any team and say it's a bad thing if I don't get the full facts. I didn't fully read into it. But a lot of people seem pissed off, not going to lie. The next player is this guy, and I've never seen this guy before in my life, but he looks like a cheerful chappy. He is called Golini. And he's close to apparently signing for Aston Villa. He's a goalkeeper, a young goalkeeper. A lot of Italian goalkeepers flying around at the moment. Obviously, Leeds have got their Silvestri. There's that young, brilliant guy at the moment. And then apparently this guy is another young talent as well. And uh, Aston Villa look likely to get him 59 rated on all my team, so I don't know too much about him. But a lot of people say he's a decent player in real life. So look how that one develops and see if he does actually join Aston Villa in the coming days. The next player is Lee Tomlin. And he has gone full deal to Bristol City. He was on loan there last season. Did pretty well. I think the, the rumoured fee, or the actual fee, is £3 million. So, pretty freaking crazy. Bristol City spending some cash. They tried to last season, didn't they? Tried like a £10 million bid for, for um, Dwight Gale, which didn't happen. But they've got Lee Tomlin. I think it's a brilliant signing for them, personally. He did well on loan. He's a good player. A lot of, lot of hype. Good player. Simple. Standard. Kind of good player. The next player is Jamie Proctor. Never heard of him. Not going to lie to you. He's gone to Bolton. Bolton from Bradford, I think. Or possibly another club. He's got a couple of all my team cards. Um, he's gone to Bolton. Bolton obviously in League One, trying to kind of like redevelop their team. Could be a good signing. Don't know too much about it. If you're a Bolton fan, you looking forward to that one? Let me know in the comment section below. The next player is Michael Keane. And he's again linked with Leicester. But this time, apparently Leicester are going to up their bit. Crazy money being suggested about this guy. But again, he was a solid defender for Burnley last season. Obviously, Burnley getting promoted to the Premier League. You'd think he would probably want to stay and kind of give it a go with Burnley in the Premier League. But when a team like Leicester, I know it sounds still sounds weird saying that, by the way, the Premier League champions come after you, then you probably get a little bit tempted. And to be fair, the centre-backs at Leicester 
I like them. I think they're good. Obviously, Hoof and Morgan, but they're not young. So somebody like him, who has got a lot of years ahead of him, might be a good signing for them. Looks like they're going to up their bid. Will they finally get their man? We'll have to wait and see. The next player. Now, I haven't got a bloody clue who this guy is. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Very young player. He's signing for 1 million to Everton. Out of nowhere. Literally out of nowhere. RKO out of nowhere, this one. I didn't see this one come in. A million pounds for this guy. Must be some kind of potential in real life to even think about paying that kind of money for a guy who's 52 rated, by the way. I know people doesn't mean anything. But if you're a Sheffield United fan, let me know if he's any good in real life. If you're an Everton fan, let me know if you're looking forward to seeing how he develops in the future. The next player is Jorn Berg, Johan Berg Goodmanson, the Iceland international bitch. No, not really. Signing for Burnley, apparently, in the coming hours. So this might actually be a done deal by the time you see this video. According to some sources, he's agreed a, a deal to sign for them. So I think it's a good signing. Obviously, Charlton got relegated from the Championship. Burnley got promoted. So in theory, he's gone up two divisions because he's technically in League One now, going to the Premier League. I think he's a good player. Got an absolute cannon of a shot on him. This is an informed card. He doesn't look fantastic as a right mid. But in real life, I think he's actually a really, really good player. So I think he'll be a squad player for Burnley. And I think he'll do quite well. The next player is this guy, Lewin. Again, Leicester seem a, a thing in this episode, don't they? Leicester are linked with everybody. But apparently, something like 35 million is being suggested for this guy. Which is crazy. He must be a wonder kid in Brazil. Looks decent on FIFA, actually. I've never actually seen this card before, but he's a silver with 85 pace, 75 dribbling. Not quite got four star skill moves or nothing, but he must be a talent in real life to even being considered for a price of about. Well, it's like this thing is 38 million, which is absolutely mental. But we'll move on to the next one, which is the Leeds link of today. And that is Yanis Salaba. Salaba. And apparently, Leeds have had a bid. I don't know if it's been rejected as such, but they've put in a bit of about 2.8 million according to some sources for this guy. But according to another source, he won't want to move to Leeds. Bitch. <laughs> what I mean by that, he's currently playing in the top league in France. I don't think he wants to drop down to the championship level, which I actually respect. I feel as if he wants to stay in the French league. He doesn't play for one of the better teams in France. He plays for Gwingamp or something like that. Not too, yeah, they're called EA. They're called EA. Um, well, I don't think... You know, I think it's fair enough if they don't want to move from a top league to a second league. I think that just is what it is these days. But that is going to be the final player. But there's one more after it, which you might see on your screen pop up now. Which is going to be the Leeds done deal, which is Sacco. He signed for Leeds on loan from Sporting Lisbon. He's not on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team, but this is his FIFA 15 card as a FIFA 16 like design. So I've basically just gone on footed and nicked the FIFA 15 stats and put onto a FIFA 16 design. So he's a striker with 64 rated bronze, 90 pace, 71 dribbling, and a four star skill moves. So FIFA wise, he will look quite decent, but I think Leeds have signing as signing signing signed him as a winger. So I imagine he'll get himself like a left wing card on FIFA 17 for Leeds, which I think will be quite cool because we haven't really got a pacey burger. But no an EA, and when it comes to Leeds. Wouldn't be surprised if you see him have like 60 pays next year because they seem to handicap Leeds like a bitch. But that is the end of this video. Apologies that it was crazy long yet again. We're almost hitting the 20 minute mark with this one. Hopefully you stuck around to enjoy it. Like I said at the start of the video, the better deals will be at the front. The worse deals will be at the end. And the last deal will always be the Leeds link if you're interested in that, if you're a Leeds fan. I know we've got a lot of Leeds people, but if you have enjoyed it, I like it, it's fantastic. If you're new around here, don't be afraid to subscribe. I will catch you next time and do a bye-bye. Boo! Hey!